Hi friends, Mrs. Fontino here. I'm going to talk to you today about our five senses. Our senses are really important parts of our body because they help us discover and explore everything in the world, okay? So we're going to go over them. I'm going to take my glasses off since it's glaring in the computer, okay? So our first one we have is our eyes, okay? Everyone point to your eyes and say, eyes can see. Very good. Our next one are our ears. Can you show me your ears and say, ears can hear? Very good. Another one is our nose. Can you point to your nose and say, our nose can smell? Very good. Another one is inside our mouth, our tongue. Can you stick out your tongue for me? <laughs> our tongue can taste. Can you say that? Our tongue can taste. Very good. And the last one is our hands. What do you think our hands can do? I'm doing it right now. Guess what? Our hands can feel. They can touch things. Why don't you touch your arm and say, my hand can feel. Very good. We're going to be talking for the next couple of weeks over our senses and all the cool things that our senses can do. So I want you to be thinking about what are some things that your eyes can see? What can your ears hear? What about your nose? What can your nose smell? What can your tongue taste? And what can your hands feel? Okay. Today, after I read you this story, I want you to go on a nature walk and I want you to look for things outside. What do you see? Do you see a tree? Do you see a bird? Do you see a car? What do you hear? Maybe you hear a bird singing. Maybe you hear the wind blowing through the leaves. What do you smell? Maybe you smell flowers. Maybe you smell, I don't know, maybe you smell an elk. They can be kind of smelly. Maybe you smell a skunk. What kind of things do you smell? Maybe you smell the air in the fall. The air can smell in the spring. It can smell, it can smell all different ways. Now, I only want you to taste if it's something you can eat outside, like the pinion nuts are outside right now. So if you find those, maybe you could taste that. But I wouldn't recommend tasting very many things outside. So it is not on your scavenger hunt sheet because we do not want to taste dirt or rocks or sticks because that's not very good. There's lots of germs on those. Those can make us sick. And we want to make sure one of our kindergarten rules is I can be safe. So I want you to be safe. So please do not taste things outside. But what kind of things inside can you taste? Like today for lunch in my classroom, I tasted spaghetti because that's what I had for lunch. Or maybe I can taste my water I'm drinking, okay? Now, when you're outside on your nature walk, you can feel things. What can you feel? Whether it's with your hands or your feet, maybe you step on a stick and your foot felt it. You can do that. Or maybe you can touch a rock, okay? There's all kinds of things, and I can't wait to see what you come up with. I want you to send me pictures or videos of your nature walk and of the things that you find, okay? I want to start putting pictures on our website of all the work you all are doing because you're doing such a great job. All right, I'm going to read you the story, and then I'm going to share a fun video about our senses, and you can do your nature walk, and this will be our science time today, okay? This is called My Five Senses. I can see. See, I see with my eyes. I can hear. I hear with my ears. I can smell. I smell with my nose. Oh, now I can taste. What's he tasting? Ice cream. We love ice cream. I can taste with my tongue. 
I can touch. I can touch with my fingers. What is he touching? The bunny. How do you think the bunny feels? Yes, the bunny feels soft. I do all this with my senses. I have five senses. When I see the sun or a frog or my baby sister, I use my sense of sight. I am seeing. Sight is seeing. When I hear a fire truck or a drum or a bird sing, when, oh, I guess I should finish this one, huh? I am hearing. You hear with your ears. I am sorry about that, friends. I'm getting ahead of myself. This one, when I smell soap or a pine tree or cookies out of the oven, I am using smell. Okay, smell is our nose. When I think my milk, when I drink my milk and eat my food, I use my sense of taste, just like I used it for spaghetti at lunch, taste. When I touch a kitten or a balloon, or water, I am using my sense of touch. I am feeling. Sometimes I use all my senses at once. Sometimes I use only one. I often play a game with myself. I guess how many senses I am using at that time. When I look at the moon and the stars, I am using one sense. I am seeing. When I laugh and play with my puppy, I'm using four. I see my puppy, I hear my puppy, I smell my puppy, and I touch my puppy. So that's something you can do is you can see how many senses are you using to do something. When I bounce a ball, I'm using three senses. I'm touching, okay, I'm seeing, and I'm hearing. Sometimes I use more of one sense and less of another, but every sense is very important to me because it makes me aware. To be aware is to see and experience all there is to see and experience. To hear all there is to hear. To smell all there is to smell. To taste all there is to taste. And to touch all there is to touch. Whenever I, wherever I go, whatever I do, every minute of the day, my senses are working. They make me aware. Our senses are how we discover and explore the world around us. I want you to have fun doing that today when you work on the science, okay? I will see you soon. Thank you for learning about our five senses with me. We will continue this the next couple of weeks. I'll see you soon.